Hi, this is Mrs. Lambert, and this is Adding Whole Numbers, Lesson 4, Session 4. This is the pages where you need to go and work these problems out on your own before you watch this video. So you need to go get your math book out, and you are going to complete pages 65, 66, 67, and 68, and after you complete those four pages, you're going to come back and you're going to finish watching this video and see if you got your answers correct. And if you didn't get your answers correct, you might need some more help with this skill. So pause this video and go work out those problems. All right, hopefully if you're still watching this video, you have worked out the problems on pages 65 through 68. And now I'm going to solve those for you, but I'm going to go through them a little bit quicker because I'm not using this as a teaching time. I'm using this as a time to go over things. The population of Turtle Valley is 407,989. The population of Art Creek is 86,966. Sometimes my lights go off in my classroom. What is the total population of the two cities? Show your work. Okay, so this is important. This is important. I'm talking about the population of Tuttle Valley. What is the total population of the two cities? Okay, now I'm going to solve my problem. 407,989. 86,966. I'm going to add those together. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 9 and 9 is 18, plus one more is 19. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Carry my 1. 8 plus 1 is 9, and there's nothing here to regroup, so it's 4. 494,955 people, because it's talking about population. So, I showed my work. Look, I regrouped 1, 2, 3, 4 times in this problem. So if you got that right, you did a fantastic job. Give yourself a pat on the back. Now we're going to turn to page... 66. At the top of 66, it's adding, asking us to add these three numbers. I like to always put the biggest one on top, and then the next one. And notice again how I'm spacing my numbers out a little bit, so that way I have room and I know that I'm keeping them in a row together, okay? All right, I know 9 and 9 because that's a double, it's 18, and so I have to add 8 more. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So my 6 goes down here and I add a 2. 9, I'm going to add this 1 right here because 9 and 1 makes 10. 11, 12, 13, 14. Regroup my one. Oh, seven and three. I know that makes ten. Plus four more is fourteen, and one more after that is fifteen. Regroup my one. Three and two, that makes five. So five plus five is ten, plus one more is eleven. And I regroup again. And then one plus one plus one plus one is. Four. So my answer is 41,546. And again, this one was a hard one. We had four regroupings and we regrouped a two. So that one was a hard one. If you got that one right, give yourself a pat on the back. All right, here is our next one. Okay, which equation can help you check the reasonableness of the answer to 361,788 plus 62,235. Well, if I look down here, 
This is looks like it's rounded to the 10,000. That's the 100,000s. This one's 10,000, and that one's 10,000. That one's 1,000, and that one's 1,000. And this is 10,000, and this is 10,000. So I don't think this one is probably right, because this number only goes to 10,000, but it these both go to 100,000s. So I can mark that one out right away. Okay, I'm going to first do this one to the thousands and see what I get. 361, 7 tells the 1 to go to a 2, so it would be 362,000 plus 2 tells the 5 to stay the same. Are those any of my answers if I round it to the thousands? Well, nope, none of those match. Okay. Oh, I don't think this one's right either because look, this one only goes to 10,000, but that's 100,000, and this one goes to 10,000 and 10,000. So it can't be this one. Okay, so, oh, same thing with this one. Look, this one only goes to 10,000, and that one only goes to 10,000, but this goes to 100,000. So I don't think it can be that one either. So that leaves one, but let's make sure. Let's round it to the 10,000. So six, 361,788 rounded to the 10,000 would be 360,000, okay? And then if we round this one to the 10,000, the five tells the six to go up, so it would be 70,000. Does this match that? Yes, so we know our answer is C. Tyrone chose D as the correct answer. How did he get that answer? Hmm. Oh, look here. This right here, there's six digits, but this only has five digits. I think Tyrone added an extra zero. Yep, I think that's what he did, because instead of 70,000, he got 700,000. Okay, now we're moving on to page 67. On page 67, which equation can help you estimate the sum of 59,106 and 22,477? Okay, well, these are both numbers in the 10,000s is the biggest number, okay? All right, well, this one only goes to thousands and so does this one, so there's no way that one could be right. This one goes to the 10,000s, but this one only goes to the 1,000s, so there's no way that one can be right. This one goes to 10,000s, and that one goes to 10,000s, so that one's possible. This one goes to 100,000s, and this one only goes to 10,000s, so I don't think that one is right. Let's see if this, if we could round it to that. Let's round it to the 10,000s. The 9 tells the 5 to go up, so that becomes 60,000. 2 tells this 2 to stay the same, so it would be 20,000. So 60,000 plus 20,000 equals 80,000. Is that what that says? Yeah, so that is our answer. All right. What is the missing digit that makes the problem correct? So let's try solving this on our own. 5 plus 6 is 11. Carry my 1. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, we got 8, 9 and 6 is 15, but I've got to carry a 1, 9 and 1 is 10, plus 7 is 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, so i got to carry a 2, 7 plus 2 plus 2 equals 6, so 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this is 11, but how do I get a 6 from 11? Because 11 is bigger than 6. Hmm, okay. So maybe I'm supposed to get to 16. Maybe it's supposed to be another one that you regroup. Can I take 11 to 16? Yeah, how do I do that? Okay, so that would be 16 minus 11, or 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 5. Okay, so this is a 5. Now let's see if this is right. 3, 4, 5. Okay, yeah, I think so, a 5. So the answer is B.
5. Okay. Select all the correct equation, addition equations. So on this, you're going to have to solve each one of these. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to write them on top of each other because that's easier. Plus 5,491. 8 plus 1 is 9. 9, 10, 11, 12. 9, 10, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9,029. Yep, that one's right. Okay, now this one. 411, 603, 17,850. The 0 plus 3 is 3. 0 plus 5 is 5. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Carry my 1, 7, 8, 9, 2, and 4. 4, 420,453, oh, that should be a 4, and that's a 5, so it's not that one. Okay, next one, 6, 7, 7, 1, oh, I'm going to put the bigger number on top. 20,293, add those together, 3 plus 1 is 4, 9 plus 7 is 16, 7, 8, 9, 10, carry my 1, 6, seven and two twenty seven thousand sixty four yep that one's right so now we got nine thousand seven hundred and twenty nine plus one thousand three hundred eighty five nine plus five is fourteen eight nine ten eleven carry my one ten eleven ten eleven so 11,114. Oh, they left out a one. Last one, 43,719 plus 27,185. Nine plus five is 14, eight, nine, 10, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, 10, four, five, six, Seven, seven thousand nine hundred and forty. Yep. So your answers are A, C, and E on this one. Last page for this week. Parkwood School had one thousand one hundred and sixty-five students in seventh grade and one thousand twenty-seven students in eighth grade. How many students are in both grades? Notice how. I can, I've been doing that method for so long that I can circle and underline the things as I'm reading it. So now I'm going to add these together. 1,027. 7 plus 5, so 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, plus 1, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. So 2,192. You've got to come over here and write your answer, but you always have to start towards the end. So 2, 9, 1, 2. And then you've got to fill in these little circles. 2, 1, 9, 2. Okay. Now we're at number 8. Find the sum of 132,501 plus 9,618. Then estimate to check that your answer is reasonable. Show your work. 8 plus 1 is 9. 0 plus 1 is 1. 5 plus 6 is 11. 9 plus 1 is 10. Plus 2 more is 12. 3 plus 1 is 4 and then we just bring down our one. So it's 142,119. Now we gotta check if it's reasonable. This only goes to the thousands place, so I'm gonna round to the thousands place. But the five tells the two to go up, so it'd be 133,000. The six tells this one to go up, so it'd be 10,000. So we add those together and it would be 143,000. Is that close to this? Yeah, that's pretty close. So yes, my answer is reasonable. And you don't have to do number nine. So that is it for today. Now you are ready to move on to your practice assignment one. Good luck.